Hey everybody, it's Ivy here. So today's video is about how to use your DSLR camera as a webcam for OBS Studio. So the prerequisites for this video are you need to have a DSLR camera and a USB cable to connect your camera to your computer. The purpose of this video is so if you want to use a better camera than a normal webcam to pick up your what you would normally pick up in a webcam um, while you're streaming or recording a video or anything because DSLRs are better and if you already have one, why not use it? So to get started, um, if you're using OBS Studio, there's not any way to completely sync up your camera as an input device. So to get started, you need this free software called Digicam Control, and what it allows you to do is control your camera and see a live feed from your Windows PC. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up, open it up and you're going to see this blank screen. You don't need to do any setup um, to have it talk to your camera at all. As long as your camera is plugged in and your computer recognizes it, you're good to go. So what you're going to do is you're, click on, you're going to click on this LV button, which means live view, and you're going to get this live view of your camera. So the point of the video is that since OBS doesn't have any way for you to talk to your camera, um, you're going to take a window capture or a screen capture of this live view and use that as your camera. It's kind of janky, but it works, so we're just going to go with it. So what you want to do before you start capturing is you want to make sure everything is set up so you can check the white balancing. Um, and then like focusing so you can double click to have an auto focus or if for whatever reason you wanted to focus something else you can click elsewhere and focus the background or back to you um and then once you have it all good you're gonna have to do some weird stuff to uh get this completely set up but you don't really need to mess with too much over here because we're not actually capturing any video or anything we're just using this live feed so you can mess with things like the white balance in the exposure, but um, everything else won't make a huge difference since we're not actually capturing. So now you're going to open it in full screen, and what this does is it removes all of the the uh, tool settings and any overlays that were on it, and then you're going to um, put it back to not full screen. And then this is the weird part, you have to do this a second time, because otherwise this screen will stay on top when you switch back to OBS, so you won't be able to see anything. If you have a second monitor, that's totally fine, but if you're only using one monitor, you kind of want that to go to the background. So now you're going to open up OBS, and you're going to add a new source. So you're going to click on Add, click on Window Capture, give it a name, so like DSLR Live, and then create that. And you're gonna choose the window for the camera control live view. You're gonna take away capture cursor because you don't want it to capture your cursor in case you have to do anything on the screen. And then add it. And now from here, this is where you get to customize it. So making sure you have the DSLR source selected, you can um, drag and drop the little circles on the edges to resize it and then you can hold down alt and drag one of the circles to crop it so crop it to where you want it making sure to click on the circles and then once you have it cropped you can resize it again to put it somewhere so this is slightly smaller than i need it's also not going to fit perfectly because my other webcam photo was cropped to a square and you can use the arrow keys to move it around and stuff. But in that sense, we now have our DSLR as our input for the for OBS Studio to replace my old uh, webcam video. And if I put them side by side, you can see how different they are in terms of white balancing and they're both small right now so you can't tell, but it's a lot easier to see me over the background because the background is blurred and you get this nice little like bokeh effect with any lights and stuff like that. Um, and I look way less pale than I normally 
would on the webcam. So this is a much better option than the webcam I'm currently using. And if you have a really nice webcam that you're happy with, then you don't have to do this. But if you have a DSLR already and you're not happy with your webcam or you don't have a webcam, this is an option for you. Um, and at this point, you would just set up your scene the way you want it to be. And then you would make sure to transition it when you were ready for that to be the scene you want live. Then you would start recording or start streaming and everything is fine. So um, please post any comments if you have any, like if you have any questions, if you have any better options that are less janky. We did some research on this before setting this up and this is what we decided on. Something to note is that as of right now, if you require any delay on your webcam video, so for instance, um, I have to delay my audio and my webcam video because my capture card is delayed. Uh, this option will not work for you because OBS Studio does not support delaying your video. Your, well, it doesn't, because OBS Studio doesn't support delaying a window capture. Um, so until either that is supported or there is a better option for getting this capture data into OBS Studio in a way that you could normally um, delay it, uh, you can't use this one. You would have to use a normal video input device that can be delayed. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions or any other suggestions, ideas, or you guys have dealt with something before similar, uh, please let me know in the comments below. And of course you can request any other videos too. We plan on doing a bunch of videos about um, just setting up a streaming PC, setting up recording scenes for, uh, for OBS Studio and stuff like that. So, all right, have a great day. Bye!